So, you're back here again because you want to see, this time, the, the best generation mod of this year, 2021. And you probably just saw my video that I did on the best Sonic Command games for 2021, either yesterday or the day before when this video comes out, because I'm bad at scheduling, like, I'm seriously bad at that. But, yeah, so you're here for the best generations mods, I'm here to deliver for y'all, alright? So give a quick rundown real quick of uh, what Generations does and the uh, generation mods and all that kind of shit. So, this community has been pretty damn active uh, for the modding scene since the game basically dropped back in 2011. Mods have been really just, like, all over the place recently. Lots of creativity, like, lots of skin mods. Uh, some stage mods, etc. It's very cool, very cool, man. It's definitely the most modded uh, official Sonic game, like in the community by far, you know. And yeah, so I'm here for y'all to really uh, to cover the best ten mods for this year, because uh, we got a, quite a few updates, so quite a few new mods, which really shocked the community, of course. And yeah, so we're gonna go right into that right now, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Let's try and keep it simple, all right? I'm on a tight schedule, so. <laughs> Also, guys, join the Discord and follow me on Twitter. I'm trying to build a community on those platforms, okay? So that'd mean a lot if you would. I'd appreciate it, of course. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe for more, and let's get right into the top 10. Let's go. All right, guys, starting off with number 10, we got the first person mod in Generation. So this mod is just very dumb, but it's also surprisingly impressive to just see like the first person perspective in generations you know like just seeing sonic from his own perspective that's actually very cool you know very accurate view of that and how fast he truly goes and what it's like to actually spin and drift as sonic and how you would probably puke your guts out if you were actually sonic and going at the speed and all that and and doing all these tricks and shit and the boosts and all that and just rolling of course and um yeah it's very cool. This mod actually did kind of blow up on Twitter, of course, and everyone played it and all that. And it's pretty hard to watch at times, just seeing all the effects in your face and all that, but it's a very unique mod. Yeah, so that's why it lands number 10 on this spot. So, yeah. Alright, here we are with this next mod, which is the Pixel Sonic mod, and yeah, it's what it says. It is basically Sonic, but in his pixel form. It's modeled to be after his sprites from back then, of course, in the older games, with Genesis and all that. And it's a very disturbing mod in many ways. You know, it's, it's surprisingly kind of nice to look at, but at the same time, it's very, like, very weird to see. Because of how, like, uncanny it is and all that. And just how strange it is to see. Especially for Modern Sonic, because how it's a 3D and all that. And honestly, it's either or with this mod. For it being in the number 10 spot. Versus the uh, first person mod. Because it's honestly a very, like, unsettling mod at times. So, yeah. Like, nah. I mean, whatever. This could be a number 9. I don't really care. But if you wanted to say that this should be number 10 instead. I wouldn't really argue against it. So, yeah. That's, that's what I mean by that. But on to the next mod. Alright guys, so for these next two mods, we got, first off, the Optos Adventure Pack. So this mod basically just ports the entirety of Optos from Unleashed into Generations, minus the hub world, okay? So you just have, like, the, the stage hub, all the levels, all that, okay? So, that is what that mod does. And then for the next mod, we got the Shamar Adventure Pack, and that mod basically does the exact same thing, you know, the uh, Shamar hub, stages from Shamar, all that. And it actually changes some of the stage itself. It adds more obstacles and all that, and more enemies and stuff to make it harder, so... Yeah. That's Satan 7 for this list, so let's move on. Alright, so next up for number 6, y'all, we got the Superior Egg Dragoon mod. But this mod is this an enhanced version of the regular 
Egg Dragoon boss, but it's actually like pretty significantly harder than the OG one is. It's not just a recolor of it. It's actually like a program to uh, respond to what the player does and it'll like adapt to your moves and all that. And, and like the main point is that it's actually a challenging boss in this game, you know, like in a Sonic game, which for a while has been like a pretty rare thing to really see, you know, because the games have been uh, uh, kind of easy and all that, of course. And this mod really just like uh, takes us back to when uh, they were actually pretty challenging because I did die uh, quite a few times during this mod. Yes, it was pretty, pretty tough, pretty tough. I enjoyed it, you know, but the colors are nice, the color palette and all that, but the yellow, of course, they replaced Eggman in there too. And yeah, that's about it. So. All right, guys, next up, we got the Hypersonic 2022 mod. Okay, so this mod basically just allows you to play as both Supersonic and Hypersonic, okay? And yeah, you can just play throughout the entire game as both Supersonic and Hypersonic, and you can transform into Hypersonic, obviously. Or if you install a certain version of the mod, you can just play as Hypersonic from the get-go, or just Supersonic, transform into Hypersonic later on, you know, like different variations for his different eye codes and all that, because some people like to make it seem like his eye color is magenta or something it's red green etc so yeah it's a very cool mod for, uh, just to be able to play throughout the entire game as those two and without the autopilot thing that also makes it that was actually playable in the game so that's why this mod is on the list all right guys next up we have the sunset heights mod it ports over the og sunset heights for forces into generations that also added in with the PBR shaders mod and the Forces HUD mod make it actually look like a one-to-one -one recreation of the original stages inside of Forces, okay? Like the colors and all that are basically like the exact same thing. Like the HUD obviously makes it look like it's in-game for Forces, etc. The background and all that, of course, looks very accurate. Is why this mod actually is very good, you know? Plus the other ones that are basically included with the entire mod. You probably wouldn't be able to tell which one is like the actual game besides looking at like the model, of course, because like because the gen model like, does have the longer clothes and all that, of course, and forces is a shorter, you know. Yeah, so it's a very, very accurate and while it looks very good. Forces is actually like, like a pretty game despite how bad the game itself is, like the gameplay and all that, but but yeah, like the colors and all that, like the model actually looks like it's in forces so so this mod does like a very good job of recreating what it looked like to be inside that game and yeah all right so next up we got the shivery mountain tides mod y'all so this mod is basically a, a from the ground up original state for generations very 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 good level design it goes to the boost formula very well it's even got its own hub world inside this little cabin which has the tv right there with the generations title screen of course the games in the bookshelf with tons of references right there but overall like a very very good mod the music is also good there's a whole snowboarding section at the beginning of it some ice cap type stuff of course you know and like the overall stage is just so high quality plus it it's a actual stage mod, which is very rare to see uh, high quality ones for this game because most people just make the skin mods and then that's it. But this person decided to make a whole full fledged stage mod with, with a hub world. Very impressive. So kudos to all the team that's uh, worked on this mod, okay? It's very good. So, yeah. Coming in at number two, we got the Sonic Unleashed Redux, yo, that is right, guys. So, this mod is basically like a whole collection of different mods, okay? So, it has the Unleashed Project, obviously, a bunch of different mods that basically enhance the gameplay, of course. The Mars of Sonic mod is also included with it. And Mars of Sonic is also made to look like how Sonic does in the Unleashed opening, which is also very, very, very cool, because, you know, how high quality that opening is so that's very nice to be able to play as that sonic you know etc etc so this is just like the definitive way to experience the unleashed levels on generation like everything looks so pretty man like the game is just like a very very good creation of the og stages you have the unleashed hud as well to make it look even more accurate you know like it just looks so so clean the physics are very accurate to the actual game you know like it's so good man it's a whole new way to experience the unleashed project even better than it was before you know so yeah i mean like the unleashed vita so top tier man very good mod very good which is why i got number two on its list man
All right, guys, and for number one, again, we have another thing that comes from 06. We have the Sonic 06 Definitive Experience mod or the 06 Project for Generations. Yeah, this mod is basically like ports over the entirety of 06 as well. It's basically like the Project 06, but in generation. And now the most impressive thing with this mod is that the mod creator actually managed to port over a Sonic's whole moveset from 06. We have the bounce, the slide kick, spin dash. It's so cool, man. It's so cool. And the actual physics are tweaked to actually function like 06s do. So Sonic's actually slower because he is kind of slow in the actual game, you know? And it's very cool, man. It's very cool to see this mod. There's a lot of stages so far. Not all the stages are available yet. You can boost as well for the water sections, like right here, of course. Like, it's very cool. It's very cool. Like, the physics are very accurate to the original game. For a gen mod to have, like, whole other physics, that whole other feel for a separate game, you know? Very cool to me. It's very cool. Like, the hub world is also very accurate to the actual uh, game as well. Like, like actual moving people in here, you know. The bosses are also here as well. We can't actually fight them yet, but it's still mad cool to see them there, man. Regardless, you know. And the mock speed sections are way easier, might I add, as well. Because it's, it's actually controllable now. Because it's Jen's controls, you know. So that makes it much better to play through. And of course, he is going to add the rest of the stages in eventually. So uh, you have to look out for that. Because this is it. A very, very high effort mod and you even have like the sonic one he was carrying at least in that one stage of course so that's also very cool to physics tweak for that kind of stage as well etc yeah guys so that is going to be it for this part that will be it i think i did a good job at uh getting the top 10 mods for this year or well, uh, last year now and uh compiling them into a video format for y'all to see which one is the best of the best of course and yeah, because I did enjoy making this video. It's very cool to go revisit these mods and just see which one is actually, like, that good, you know, and, and all that. And, yeah, man, so I will catch you in the next video. Uh, either tomorrow or Thursday. Probably should be Thursday. I'll see y'all. I'll see, but, um, yeah, so have a good day. Peace to all the good stuff. Take care. Goodbye, SCG, and peace. Hope you enjoyed the video, and take care.